welcome back to Beer in Canada. I'm Chris Talbot. I'm your host. So uh, today we're going to be continuing our look into autumn ales before, well, before the autumn's all gone. A little bit different location today, so I hope this works out okay. But today we're going to be taking uh, the Muskoka Harvest Ale out for a spin. Now, I've already had a couple of bottles of this, or sh shared a couple of bottles with people, and uh, I found it pretty decent. But let's open it up. We'll give you a kind of a much deeper opinion then. Oh, I like it. So the Muskoka Harvest Ale. Uh, I'll read off the back here. A Muskoka seasonal offering. This is a well-hopped pale ale made with a hand-picked selection of locally grown ingredients. Our Muskoka Harvest Ale is dry hopped to contribute a fresh aroma and a subtle grassy character to the ale, reminiscent of the harvest. Close your eyes, savor the nose, enjoy the beer, and celebrate the harvest. Cheers, Gary McMullen. Gary's the uh, the head brewer up there. All right. Well, this is uh, comes in a 750 ml bottle. It's a strong beer, and it's a you know they've even got the vintage for 2010 listed here. So it comes in at 6.4% alcohol. So it's a you know higher than higher than usual for for a lot of beers, but it's nothing too out of the ordinary. So let's let's open this up and see how it tastes. If I can open it. Oh, yeah, there we go. So it's just me, so this is this is all mine, but I'm going to uh, pour this into a little sampler glass that I got from Steam Whistle on the Cabot Tour. So again, give this an aggressive pour. Ooh, look at that. Whoa! That aggressive pour <laughs> netted me a, a huge head. That's like four fingers worth there. <laughs> that is crazy. Alright, I probably shouldn't have done that in this case, but... If you take a look, it's got a bit of kind of got that amber leaning into you know reddish brown colors. There's uh, a lot of little tiny bubbles coming up off the bottle, but it's I mean you can tell it's carbonated just by the head. But uh, that's a foamy, you know, white off white head, some big bubbles in the top. But that's uh, that's a beautiful looking beer right there. Just take a look at that. So how's it smell? The aromas you get some of them all, and def definitely I agree. Uh, harvest sales tend to remind you of this time of year. Just there's there's something in that, that those grassy malts, or sorry, grassy hops, I should say, combined with the malts. But definitely kind of has a nose of a pale ale. A lot of the hops come out. Some beautiful hop aromas again. Just pretty much I agree with what was on the on the back of the bottle. Some grassy hop aromas. There's a little bit of the malt in there as well, which is nice. Uh, that you can tell that they use some, some a few, at least a few darker malts in there to get the, the amber brown color that you see, and they stand out a little bit. But it's re it's really the, uh, the it's, re it's really the character of the hops that stand out. Okay, well let's give this a taste. Hmm. Oh yeah, that is smooth. It's got a, a very creamy texture on the tongue. It's a very beautiful mouthfeel. I mean, the malts are definitely present, but there's a, a nice back end of those. I, again, you know, with, with, for lack of any better ways to describe it, I'll just I'll call it that gra those grassy hops. Mm. Beer is absolutely delicious. Once in, there's just a. You don't really get too much alcohol warmth, just a little bit from the, the 6.4%, but it just coats your tongue. It, it's a it's a beautiful beer, and it's, it's not even in, you know anything too too ridiculous like a, an imperial stout or anything like that, where those get so rich and thick, or or a barley wine where it just coats your tongue. But this. This is there. It leaves a little bit of a dryness on your tongue afterwards in the in the swallow. That that's most likely from all the from all the hops. You, when you swallow a beer, make sure to kind of keep your mouth closed a little bit and breathe out through your nose and back in, and that then open your mouth, and you can continue to get some of those hops. 
aromas as well as well as the flavors. It's oh, and anyway, this is a beautiful beer. I'd highly recommend this if you can still pick up a few bottles. Uh, it's it's still there. I mean, I picked up a bottle of it today for, uh, from the LCBO specifically for 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 this tasting tonight. And this is only middle of November, so it's, there's still time to grab this. So I highly recommend this beer. To me, this is a this is just this really does blow me away. This is a this is a five out of five beer, absolutely. Mm. So cheers to Muskoka. They did a wonderful job with this beer, and uh, I think this is, the, this is the second year that they've done this. So hopefully they'll continue the tradition in 2011. So thanks again for watching. And cheers.